Hello, I'm Brian Hayes. I'm a Salesforce and Pardot consultant with Rotiv. We're an official Salesforce partner and we help small businesses automate their processes. This next video is a lesson from our one week Pardot course. If you find it useful, you can sign up for the complete course at academy.rotiv.io or by clicking the link in the description below. In this video, we're gonna take a look at scoring and how you can change the default scoring model in Pardot. So we already talked about the point of scoring, right? It's a number that's gonna go up as a Pardot prospect is acting more and more with your marketing material. It should be an indication of how interested they are in you based on their activity. So if you look at a prospect record, we'll see their score on the right-hand side from their activity. But this is really just the base level score and there's a scoring model behind it. So here we can see a bunch of standard forms were filled out and they're worth 50 points each. We can change that. We can change how many points a form is worth generally across the board. What you can also do through automations and through engagement programs is we can increase or decrease a score really based off any factors that we, we care about. And you might wanna do that if you've got, for example, an engagement program that is highly educational and it's going step by step and it's teaching them about your services or it's some sort of education that if they were to complete it and have strong interest in that is a good indicator that they're a good fit for your business. If they get to the end of that program, we can add a step to increase their score by another 100 points or something like that. So there's lots of little areas throughout the system where we can influence that score directly and change it. But what we're gonna take a look at here is how do we change the base level scoring model? So if you don't want a, a typical standard form to be worth 50 points, maybe you want it to be worth 30 points, you know, we can change that. So you can find that by clicking on Pardot settings across the top of the screen here, going to automation settings, and then clicking on scoring. And from here, we've got all of our scoring rules listed out and what their current point values are. And some of them are fine. You know, a custom redirect click at three points, I think that's fine. A form submission at 50 points, I think is also fine. One thing that I don't agree with is the default for opportunity lost to be negative 100 points. In my experience, some of the best prospects are ones that you had an opportunity with previously. So for some reason they didn't purchase, usually it was timing or maybe the budget wasn't quite there. Maybe they're at a point in their business where they don't quite need your services, but you know, in six months, maybe they will. So just because you have a lost opportunity, to me, that doesn't mean that they have zero interest. You know, if anything, that's probably a good pool to start from for future prospecting. So you can see here that the you know, default model, when an opportunity is created, the prospect will get 50 points. But if it's lost, they get negative 100 points. So they're, they're going backwards considerably. I think that this should probably be more like negative 25. So if an opportunity is created, we have 50 points. If we weren't able to close the deal, we'll decrease it by 25. You know, Maybe they're a bad fit and we should have qualified them out earlier, or maybe it's timing or authority or some of these other things that had prevented that deal to go through. So to change that value from being negative 100 to negative 25, you can hit edit scoring rules in the upper right hand corner. From here, you can choose that activity, opportunity lost, and we can change the score, negative 25. And you could add additional scoring rules here and, and change multiple at one time. And then I'll hit save. There we go. Now opportunity lost is negative 25 points. The interesting thing about these particular scoring rules is they are retroactive. So it'll go back through your database and it'll change the score for each prospect based on their activity, based off these point values. So if we have anybody in the system that had lost an opportunity previously, they just got a 75 point boost because we changed it from negative 100 to negative 25. That's not the case for most things in Pardot. Most things in Pardot, when you set up an automation or you change something, it's just moving forward. But these standard scoring rules are an exception to that. Uh, we also have scoring categories here. This is a more advanced feature. This, if you've got the plus edition or higher, you can have multiple scores for a given prospect. Maybe you've got two completely different product lines and you wanna have a score for product line A, product line B. You can set that up with categories. 
but the scoring rules edits apply just the same here. And there's that same edit button in the upper right if you need to change them. So that takes care of the main scoring setup within Pardot. As you start using Pardot and start using the score, you know, you should iterate on this, change it over time uh, as you dial in and you get a better understanding of what activities are a true indication of their interest and what activities maybe not so much. And so come back here periodically and update it to make sure that it makes sense based off the behavior of your prospects. Thanks for watching that lesson from the one week Pardot course. If you'd like to see the other lessons, you can click the link in the description below or go to academy.rotive.io. And if you did find it useful, please hit the like button and click subscribe. Thanks for watching.